our morning rounds, the disturbing surge in bug-borne illnesses. A new CDC report finds the number of people who get sick from mosquito, tick, and flea bites is spreading rapidly. The annual total more than tripled between 2004 and 2016. In all, more than 640,000 cases were reported over that period. Nine new diseases spread by insects, including Zika and chikungunya, were reported for the first time in the U.S. Our Tara Narula is here with more on this. Tara, good morning. Good morning. The CDC tracked 16 diseases spread from bug bites. Why are we seeing the surge? Right, so there are a lot of reasons that the CDC suggested, but what we do know is that these cases are increasing from about 27,000 in 2004 annually to about 90,000 annually in 2016. So some of the reasons they suggest, more globalization. So there's increased travel. These diseases are, as they said, a plane flight away. There's trade of goods, there's people moving back and forth, that spreads disease. There's also climate change that plays into it. So the warmer the temperatures, the more the ticks can live in northern climates that they normally couldn't live in before. Uh, and also the tick season is longer. In addition, with the warmer temperatures, mosquitoes are more infectious and the infections move faster. In addition to that, we're testing more now. So we're picking up the diseases. There's urbanization, deforestation, reforestation, all of that plays into it. Uh, increased number of deers because we don't hunt as often and also more rodents because foxes and the predators aren't around as much. It's so good a lot of these all changes the all around, around <laughs> all around. But, yes. but when we hear the, na the number nine new diseases, that sounds like a lot and it sounds like something we should be very concerned about. Should we? Well, not necessarily. I mean, we should be concerned and this is something that we need to invest in, which is dealing with these vector-borne diseases. But two of them you've heard of, chikungunya and Zika. They're not necessarily new, but they're new to us in this country. Um, the other ones were seven tick-borne diseases some of which were bacterial and some of which were viral. So what do we do? I know whenever we get puddles after a big rain, you get get those out of the way so that mosquitoes don't live in there. What other kinds of can, things can you do? Right, so removing standing water, very important. Also using EPA recommended uh, repellents as well as permethrin treated clothing. Treat your gear with permethrin. Check your animals, check yourselves and your family members for ticks. These are some of the lifestyle things that you can do to kind of help wear long sleeve shirts and pants as uncomfortable as that might be when you're out in the woods yes. <laughs> in the summertime. And it's 87 degrees. And it's 87 okay. degrees, but all Better of that getting chicken gunya. Well, right, exactly. <laughs> I'm glad we, glad we know what to do. Thanks, Dr. Yes. Narula.